Hi everyone, my name is Rasha Lamy and on behalf of other co-authors, I am going to briefly talk about the findings from our recently published study in fertility and sterility reports. In our study, we investigated the association between high-sensitivity C-reactive protein, the HSCRP, and self-reported infertility. HSCRP can predict the occurrence of cardiovascular diseases. Recent studies found that infertile women may have an increased risk of cardiovascular diseases or high levels of CRP, which prompted us to conduct our study. We used data from a nationally representative cross-sectional survey from the National Health and Nutrition Examination Survey for the period 2015 to 2018. We specified our analysis to a sample domain that did not include a pregnant or breastfeeding woman, women with self-reported having hysterectomy, bilateral or oophorectomy, thyroid disease, asthma, chronic bronchitis, or arthritis, or who were premenarchal or begun menarch after the age of 20 at the time of the study. All of these conditions may not indicate the current presence of infertility or refer to patients who may have an altered risk of cardiovascular diseases. We also excluded HSCRP levels more than 10 mg per liter because these high levels most likely indicate an ongoing infection. In our final analytical sample of 940 women, we found that self-reported infertile women had higher mean of HSCRP and a higher percentage of moderate to high levels of HSCRP, that is between 1 to 10 mg per liter, in comparison to non-infertile women. However, we did not find a significant association between HSCRP and self-reported infertility after controlling for obesity measures and risk factors for cardiovascular diseases in our sample of the United States women aged 20 to 45 years. We specifically controlled for age, BMI, total cholesterol, HDL, hypertension, diabetes, waist circumference, and the trunk percent fat in our logistic regression models. All analyses were performed on weighted sample responses, which allow for unbiased estimates to be calculated and generalized to the United States population that have similar defining the criteria as our sample. In conclusion, elevation in CRP could reflect the contribution of obesity to infertility. According to our study, elevated HSCRP was not an independent factor of infertility. Future prospective studies are needed to test the causal relationship between infertility and cardiometabolic markers like CRP. Thank you so much for listening and for showing an interest in our article. Please visit Fertility and Sterility Reports website to learn more about our study.